This is the emailing guardians about the student's work. Okay, now what some teachers are doing is on parents night they gave the parents the class code to their Google Classroom. Okay, so they wrote it down for them. And they told the parents to join their Google Classroom with this code. This does not work. Do not give parents the Google Classroom code. I'm going to show you exactly what parents are seeing when they try to join your Google Classroom with the code that you provided them. Say that I'm a parent and I just signed into my personal Gmail account. There are many people who have a Gmail account and that is a personal Gmail account. They do not have a school account. Our school account is you know, username, usually the ID number, at northbergen.k12.nj.us. Parents do not have a school, a North Bergen school district account. So here I signed into my personal Gmail account. Because many teachers gave the parents their Google Classroom code, this is what the parents are doing. They're going to Google Classroom and they're clicking on the plus sign and joining your class. Okay, they typed in the code that you gave them and they click join. This is what they're getting. The code is not valid. Make sure you've typed the correct code. Now what they're doing is they're either doubting themselves that they wrote down the wrong code or that you gave them the wrong code. You're going to get phone calls saying, I cannot join your classroom. It's invalid. The only thing that they can do, if we go back in teacher mode, I'm back in teacher mode. What you have to do is, if its parent really wants to, to be notified of the assignments that you're posting in Google Classroom, you have to invite them as a guardian. All you do is you get the parent's email. You could ask the student, you know, have your parent give me their email address. You could either call them, write down their email address, or just have the student give it to you. If this is the student, you could click on Invite Guardian and then you type in the parent's email address. Okay, so make believe I'm the parent. This is my personal account and I click on invite. Okay, you could see here now it's pending. The parent has not accepted to be the guardian of this class yet, so that's why it says invited. Okay, as you could see here, this parent, which is named Katie Mendez, is the guardian of NBHS2. This parent has already agreed to be in your classroom. You received their email address, they either told you or the student gave it to you. You put it in and now you could see their full name and that they could see now what their student is doing in your classroom. Also note is say that you teach, you know, fifth grade and this student was in fourth grade in another teacher's class. If that teacher already added this parent as a guardian in their classroom in fourth grade, it would automatically turn over, roll over into your fifth grade class now. Okay, so really a teacher only has to do this one time and then this parent will be on every Google Classroom from like whatever, first grade to 12th grade. Okay, hopefully that they don't change their email account. So I just invited this parent to be a guardian in this classroom. So I'm going to show you what's the email that they receive. I'm a parent and I logged into my Gmail account and I could see here this is the subject. It has a teacher's name and it has the subject get Google Classroom email summaries for and then has the student's name. If I click on it, it says the teacher's name, Krista Wells, invited you as a guardian in Google Classroom. Okay, this is their, their child's name. All you have to do is click on accept or I'm not the guardian. Okay, so I'm gonna click on accept. And this is the confirmation that I get. I'm gonna click on accept. And now it tells you the frequency. How often would you like to receive an email summary of your student's activity? You could click on weekly, daily, or no summaries. I would choose either daily or weekly. Maybe you want to get an email once a week 
or daily, you get it once a day. I'm going to click hmm, daily. And then just choose, have the parent choose their time zone. Would you choose the time zone? You could just click off of Google Classroom. Because the parent turned on either weekly or daily notifications for Google Classroom, I'm going to show you exactly what they're going to get. Okay, and as you can see here now, um, the parent accepted. So now the parent's name is there. Again, just make, make believe I'm the parent of the student. Okay, my name is there. Um, I have the option of emailing guardians or removing them. You do have the option to add another guardian. Okay, mother or father, or another guardian. Google Classroom now gives you the option to invite numerous. I'm going to type in my sister's name, Gmail, and click invite. And now you can see there's there's two parents there for this one student. Now, say that the parent calls you and says, you know, what is my student doing this week? Uh, and, you know, she she turned on weekly um, emails and she, she just wants to see what you guys are doing now. What you could do is you could you could choose a student and you could click here on the three buttons. You could type in email guardians. You could email them what exactly are the students doing or maybe if you want to write a note to these two parents, to these two guardians on maybe behavior issue for the student. You have their email right here. Okay, so that's one option. Also, if we click on the student's name, you could see all of the assignments that you assigned, if they actually did it, okay, if it's missing, you could see the grades that they got. This is everything you've assigned this year. You could choose to click the email student or guardian. Okay, remember, students don't have email set up by the district, so you're only going to be emailing the guardians. So you're going to click on guardians only, not students or guardians. You're just going to choose guardians, and you can either type a message. And in the message, you could type in something like, these are the assignments from my class. Please take a look. Your child has missed several assignments. And then you could choose include work summary. And we're going to click send. It says your message has been sent. Okay, I am the parent again. Now I just received the email that the teacher gave me. It's right here. Okay, this is the name of the teacher. My my child's name progress in English language class. If I scroll down, this is what the parent can see. It has the name of their child, the name of your class, progress report, the date it was created, and the time that you sent the email. It tells you what was assigned, what was turned in, Okay, this one you didn't give them a grade yet. This is the assignments that were missing. You cannot click on an assignment or material or a question. You only see a summary. You could see what they got, but as you could see here, I cannot click on anything. This is for student privacy. Google has uh, decided not to give ac full access to the description or any type of material a teacher posts in the classroom. This is simply just a progress report. It's just a summary. So now the parent will see that they missed these assignments and what the grades that they received.